Hello everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon and good evening. My name is Sarah. For the new subscribers, you are most welcome. And to the returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. In today's video, we are going to be making pancakes or call them kabadagala. That is the Luganda word. And right here, I have a full basket of um, bananas, which bananas we call in these in Luganda. And so this is basically what we need for the pancakes. And we need cassava flour, which we are going to be uh, sieving right here. So let's get started. So this is our flour, the, the cassava flour. We are sieving right now. So for those who have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe for more videos. Turn on your notification bells so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I put so we're going to do this until we get the quantity of the flour that we want. Please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at sarazin476 and on my TikTok at sarazinskitchen. So please give me that support subscribe we are on our way to 1000 subscribers on YouTube I have ever done this um, this in the first first videos but I did not do a step-by-step -step, uh, on how to do this pancake or the on how to do these pancakes but today we are going to do a step by step and we are not going to skip anything please stay tuned may god bless you so right here uh, is our cassava flour that i've been saving and this is baking soda so we need it for our Kabalagana or Ugandan pancakes so that it can give us that sweetness, you understand? So let's peel our bananas. so these are our bananas and um, what we're going to do right now is to mash them i'm going to be using this potato masher yes hope you see it
So we are going to mash it until it's as soft as we want it. So this is what I'm actually doing. So this is the consistency I have been looking for. And uh, what I'm going to do next is to put in my baking soda. And then mash it again. You're going to see the changes that uh, comes in after putting in the baking soda. It becomes more soft. And it makes it so easy to um, it makes it so easy when putting in the the cassava flour. So as you can see, there are no additions of sugars or anything. It is just the bananas and the baking soda so far. And this is how our mixture looks like at this point. So what we're going to do is now to add in our flour right here. We put in a bit by bit as we mix. And um, I'll be using my hand because it's clean. Don't worry. I washed it before starting this and I have washed it again. So don't worry about my hands. They are clean. You can use any other kind of bananas, but uh, trust me, the, the, the pancakes or the kawadagana won't be that uh, tasty as this one has the kawadagana or the pancakes used. So we made with these small bananas that I showed you earlier. I'm sorry, the video might be a bit longer than the usual videos, but bear with me as we take this process because I don't want us to skip any step. I want to take all the steps, yes, that we take when making these sweet pancakes. I'm going to add in more because even our bananas were so many so that means we're going to use a little more of our flour.
you see after a long while it is starting to like thicken up it will take um, some time to do this so what you have to do you have to be patient yeah With this, you don't need so much energy like um, you need for chapati, you know. So this is it after mixing. So what I usually do, I do not put in so much flour, but you will put in the flour depending on how much um, are the bananas that you used. But for me, what I do usually, I don't put in so much flour because I want to feel that, you know, the taste of the bananas in the pancakes so what most people do they put in a lot of flour and their pan you when you uh, eat you're tasting a lot of flour in it but for me i leave it when it is not hard it is soft but yet when you can feel you know the bananas in the pancakes i don't know whether i've made myself clear but that's it so let's go ahead and cut those small small balls so this is what i'm going to use to cut uh, the pancakes okay see we cut them like that And so I'm going to be putting in them here. Oops. So let's make more. So I'll be doing this until all of them are done and then we shall start the process of frying them. Thank you so much for watching after this time. May God bless you. I love you all. Is our frying pan and we're going to be putting in the oil
So we are going to wait for it to heat up and then put in our pancakes. So we're going to cook them until they are ready. So as you can see, our pancakes are ready and it's time to remove them. So let's remove them right now. So let's put in another bunch. So we are going to cook them also like we did the first bunch and so we shall continue with the process until all of them are done. So these ones are also ready and we are going to remove them. So we are going to put in another bunch. As I said earlier, we are going to cook them until all of them are done. So right here is our bowl of pancakes. They are really nice and ready. As you can see, very hot. You know, it's really, really hot. But it's ready as you can see. And inside is ready too. So this is what I was talking about. Uh, putting them on uh, medium low heat. So that they don't get ready on top. And yet inside they are not ready. Yes. So thank you so much for watching. May God bless you for me.
I love you all.